DFS LOL coming at you with more hand analysis from PokerStars 1020 No Limit Hold'em. Uh, so we'll just jump into it. So we're connecting in the middle of a hand here. We got a 7853 with 3 2A Diamond Flush. Uh, Marcel's been the aggressive of the two. It's a pretty big pot at 1590. I think this is the uh, probably the biggest pot I've seen so far. Uh, Marcel goes all in, catches a call. We got aces versus aches queen. Both have a diamond flush draw. And uh, lol, you play with the nut flush of the two. Marcel didn't have much going in on there. No uh, draw to the nuts. Ace queen, nothing uh, connected. And was more of a, uh, a bluffed style bet to try and get lol, you play to uh, fold it out. Th making him think that he already has the flush. But LOL, you play, makes the call because he has the nut flush draw if his uh, aces, his single pair, is no good. So he makes the call and he gets rewarded for the biggest uh, pot in, on the table. So uh, let's break into uh, the next hand. Look like uh, just a bit of a bluff steal with continuation bets and nothing too interesting there. Uh, so we'll go to the next hand. So right now we're looking at just. Uh, Fold to the blinds. Blinds picks it up, so nothing too interesting there. Now these these games run pretty fast in comparison to a uh, live table. You you get some additional time to think. With Poker Stars, you only have uh, about a 30 second clock to make a decision, so it's very quick. Action moves around quickly. LOL, you play sits out, so we're now down to five handed. Uh, we have an early position raise to 2.5x the big blind, which seems to be the standard raise for this table. Um, other tables, it's 3x. This one's about just under 2.5x. But uh, it, whatever works. I mean, if the minimum to raise to steal the blinds is 2.5x, then you're going to raise 2.5x. But if it's 3, if it's 4, you just have to play what the table gives you. Now we have a uh, blind defense uh, with the early position raised. You're going to see a continuation bet here. I would say roughly about 60, maybe 65, but most likely 60. Oh, he puts in a big bet of uh, 150, which is over the pot. So the only reason you would do something like that is if you're trying to get a call and build a pot. Uh, but there is no call. Yeah, he folds it out. So you would do that if you have the nuts or close to the nuts or the nuts draw and you're trying to build a pot. Since he uh, didn't have anything and there was no defense, he folds and picks up the blinds plus uh, plus an additional bet. So last hand, just, just uh, small blind raises, no defense and folds it out. Pastor is in the power position again on the button, can raise to steal the blinds uh, with Pretty much anything here raises to 46 versus the 10 20 blinds. You 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 could play pretty much any hand from this the the, uh, the big blind and the uh, button position. Button such a power position. It doesn't take much to play a hand out of that position. So you get a continuation bet of one third of the pot, which is very small. I mean, you have to have nothing absolutely garbage to not play a hand if you're wild crazy's position even if you have a pair of fives you're you're playing because pastor could be betting with pretty much anything so pastor takes the check wild crazy can bet and try to pick up the pot here if he has little to no hand or if he has a, a pretty decent hand uh, and pastor makes the call uh, not even looking at that pastor had Wild Crazy had the straight, so Pastor probably had at least a pair. I'm not going to look it up. Well, maybe I'll look it up. But uh, he had at least a pair to make that call. And unfortunately, it won't show me uh, what he had there. But uh, yeah, had at least a pair. So next hand, um, we got the early position to raise. Pastor with the call. The re-raise from the big blind, and and you can do a three bet from there because he's in a power position, and can take out the other two without much of a challenge. He can do that with pretty much any hand, uh, because it's such a power position to three bet out of the big blind against 
to a uh, razor and a limper. If there was only one razor and no limper, he couldn't do so something like that because there's uh, most likely he'll get a call, but when there's two, uh, the early position does not know what the, uh, the caller will do, so he has to fold it out if he doesn't have a, a premium holding. So we got three to a flop, seven, six, ace, rainbow. Uh, we got uh, the late position with the bet. Marcel calls. Marcel seems to play a lot of action. And then we got a big turtle with the check raise against uh, a better and a caller. We will probably, this is the same type of scenario, but this is on the flop where he's in a power position and he's going to pick up two raises and, and most likely pick up the pot but Marcel he likes the action Marcel calls it Big Turtle is going to make continuation bet right here for about 180 he probably has a ace x maybe a ace 7 maybe a ace 6 maybe an ace king ace queen um, and Marcel probably has a pair of some sorts so he makes a continuation bet. Big Turtle is making a big bet of 457. He most likely has a straight draw or a pair. A7. A7 hits the full house. Ace9 no good. Marcel lost about three grand there. And uh, we're down to three handed. So the table is pretty much busting here. Um, it's pretty easy to tell Marcel what his holding is and what Big Turtle's holding was in that in that situation. It's just surprising the, that Marcel made that terrible play uh, given the fact that Big Turtle definitely had at least two pair on that on that particular board. So Ace-9 really couldn't have beat anything really. There's nothing Big Turtle wouldn't have had except for oh, just a bluff so not very good uh, play there by Marcel so next hand uh, just checking through there's not not much action going on here the board's pretty wet it does have uh, some flush draw some straight draw potential two pair overs but they're playing regs so not much betting so now we are we have a busted table so that's it for this one uh, as always like comment subscribe if you want me to do more of this uh, uh, just leave a message in the comments below and uh, we'll talk to you soon